In today's video, we're going to talk about a construction internship. I'll cover topics such as what to expect as an intern, how to get the most out of your internship, some of the potential challenges, and much more along the way. So let's go. All right, let's say you've landed a construction internship or you're in the middle of a construction internship. So what are some of the things you should know? Well, the first thing I want to cover is that every company is different, every project is different, and most project managers have different styles of management, meaning that your internship experience is going to be different depending on your placement and who you're potentially working with. You may have a project team that is more structured, giving you responsibilities and tasks throughout the internship. And other times you may be just left wondering what you should be doing. You could be placed on a project that is just starting out, or you could be placed on a project that is close to finishing. And where the project is at in its life cycle is partly gonna determine what your responsibilities are gonna be. So let's take a quick step back and talk about the purpose of the internship to give you some personal guidance. Now, a construction internship is essentially your last stop prior to entering the industry as a full-time entry-level employee. It's guaranteed to be one of the main discussion points in any interview because companies want to understand your relevant experience. You're going to put this internship on your resume that hopefully helps you land a job in the future. So ask yourself what you want to achieve during the internship to reflect on your resume. The simple way to go about this is to look up the responsibilities of the entry level position that you're seeking out for employment, which should be the things that you should seek out during your internship for experience. You want your internship experience to match closely to the role that you're looking to get a full time job with. Now, I'm going to pause for just a second because you won't always be in the position to learn all these things depending on your project team placement and like I said, where the project is at in its life cycle but you certainly won't achieve any of these things if you don't ask. So don't be afraid to ask for opportunities to learn. Also consider that most companies wanna see references during the interview process when you go for that full-time position. So keep in mind that what you do throughout the internship could set you up with a good reference as you move forward into the interview process. So the two main things you should bring to an internship to get the most out of it are a willingness to learn, and an understanding to be resourceful through critical thinking. Now, unfortunately, college does not teach most individuals how to critically think and that there's no guidebook to solving problems in the construction industry. There's no harm in asking questions, but if you're asking tons of questions that can be easily found online in a matter of minutes, then you're not developing any critical thinking or problem solving skills throughout this internship. This doesn't mean spend an entire day on a task because you're afraid to ask a question. This just means to utilize your resources before immediately going to ask the question. The project team would rather see a proposed solution to a problem, which would immediately tell them that you've taken the initiative to at least try to figure it out. But in the same respect, the project team should fully understand that interns lack experience and to be there for guidance because everyone in the industry starts with zero knowledge and zero understanding. Now, the biggest hurdle I often see is that interns don't bridge the gap of experience before going full-time into the industry, which is to be expected, whether it's because either they've never asked for those opportunities to learn or they were never delegated tasks to learn or a combination of both. So here are a few things you can do to help bridge that gap of experience or inexperience, especially if you've got extra time. Number one, get out of the office and walk the job site. I learned more in a single year of walking job sites than I did throughout my entire time at college. Number two, learn the drawings. So after you walk the job site, go back and pull up your set of plans and match what you were looking at in the field on those plans. This is gonna drastically increase your understanding of construction if you can make this connection. Number three, be a sponge. Seriously. Listen, watch, and absorb everything around you. How people talk, what terms they're using, how they solve problems, even understanding mistakes they've made and why they happened. You can learn a lot if you just listen and absorb. But listen up now, this is serious. And finally, number four, I've actually dropped a handful of suggested things that you can fall back on in the video description below. Just run it through your project team if there are any opportunities and you have extra time outside of your regular responsibilities. 
So I have quite a few videos on the channel to help you navigate some of the basics of construction uh, and to fill those gaps from a college education. So if you're interested in continued education, please hit the subscribe button, helps grow the channel, uh, and you can follow along. If you have any other questions, always feel free to drop a comment below. All right, that's it for today. Best of luck with your internship and welcome to the industry. So as always, be better, build better. Bye, Bye for now. now.